Choosing a name for your blog is not easy, and once you've decided, you have to live with it. So you need to get it right. My name is Rob Powell, and in this video, I'm going to give you 19 tried and tested formulas for coming up with a great name for your blog. But before I start, here are five key characteristics of good blog names. One, must be no more than four syllables, and preferably two or three. Two, must be pronounceable. Three, must instantly tell the reader what the blog is about. Four, must pass the phone test. If you told someone the name of the blog over the phone, they could write it down without you having to spell it for them. Five, must provoke a reaction in the reader. A good blog name will make the reader chuckle to themselves or sit up in shock or make them think about something familiar in a new way. Okay, let's dive in. 19 formulas for blog names. 1. Use alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the same sound or letter at the beginning of each word. It's often used in newspaper headlines. For example, Romney in a rout or Buston Bieber. Alliteration is fun and grabs our attention. Here are some examples of blog names that use alliteration. Savoring Simplicity Smitten Kitchen Katie in Kansas Words of Williams Tiffany's Epiphany Making Sense of Sense Cats Who Code Pilates for the People 2. Use or adapt a popular saying Take a popular saying, such as life in the fast lane, and swap out one of the words for your keyword. These blog names cause people to pause, even just for a second, as they try to recall the adage or the maxim that your blog name is based on. It's another way of getting attention and making something stick in the reader's mind. Here are some examples. Beside the point. Heart via stomach. Life in the bike lane. Two peas in their pod. My goodness me. Three, use a pun. A pun is a play on words that exploits the different possible meanings of a word or the fact that there are words which sound alike but have different meanings. Again, the reader pauses for a fraction of a second while they figure out what the word should have been. It's another way to be memorable. Here are some examples. Turn up your life. Fit-bottomed girls, economies of kale, peas in a blog, all grown up, gin and sardonic, second star on the right, tainted canvas, budget bites, good financial sense, my darling lemon thyme, and planet of the grapes. 4. Combine two concepts in one word. Take two words that sum up what your blog is about and put them together to make one word. For example, frugal woods, list verse, WP beginner, blogilates, copy blogger, pro blogger, stilettos and green juice, the blonde salad, barefoot blonde, yoga in heels, and zen habits. Five. Your keyword plus the word hacks. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a hack as a simple and clever tip or technique for accomplishing some familiar task more easily and efficiently. So a good blog title formula is hack plus your keyword. For example, mind hacks, study hacks, the wallet hacks blog, the travel hack, and life hacks and tips. 6. Be purely descriptive. Some blog titles are simply descriptive without any attempt at humour or double entendre. For example, Digital Photography School, Wholesome Cook, Ramblings of a Confused Twenty Something, Blogging Basics 101, Start Blogging Online, Blogger Tips and Tricks, and Fluent in Three Months. 7. Use some slang. Putting some slang in your blog name will give your blog name some street cred and a dash of humour. For example, I want to be a blogger or give me some oven. 8. Your keyword 
plus the word wizard. If your blog is about helping people to do something, wizard is a good word to have in your blog name. For example, blogging wizard, lifestyle wizard, swimming wizard, and wizard of odds. 9. Use humour. Humour is a way to make an immediate connection with people. So if you can make your blog name humorous, you're off to a good start. Here are some examples. We'll run for margaritas. I can has cheeseburger. Multiple monstrosity. Olga the traveling bra. Sad and useless. And generation mare. 10. Your keyword plus a type of person. I recently had to put my grandfather's antique book collection in storage, in a place called Storage King. It reminded me of a mattress company called Captain Snooze. Keyword plus type or rank of person is a well-used branding technique in the business world, and it'll work for your blog as well. Here are some examples. Blog Tyrant. Financial Samurai. WordPress Mayor. Yoga Dork. Geek Dad and Money Geek. 11. Drop a vowel. We're all familiar with brands such as Flickr, Tumblr, Scribed and Grindr. Dropping a vowel is a way to brand your blog as hip and cool. Here are some examples. Kitchen, Garden Tips and Fashion Fever. 12. Eat, Pray, Love, otherwise known as the Rule of Three. Elizabeth Gilbert's autobiography was a runaway bestseller and whether you enjoyed the book or not, you have to admit it had a catchy title. Things that come in threes are known to be catchy, as in Julius Caesar's I came, I saw, I conquered. The French motto, liberté, égalité, fraternité, or the popular expression, wine, women, and song. Here are some examples. Move, nourish, believe. Eat, lift, and be happy. Eat, run, write. Seek, dare, love. Body, love, wellness. You, me, naturally. Read, travel, become. Living, learning, eating. Spoon, fork, bacon. Think, save, retire. And eat, sleep, draw. 13. Niche term plus keyword. One effective blog naming technique is to add a word to your keyword that makes it clear that your target audience is a subset of the main niche. We're always being told by online marketers to niche down, so why not do it in the name of your blog? Here are the examples. Nerd Fitness, Workout Mummy, Mummy Saving Mum. 14. Use Shock or Surprise. If all else fails, you can always grab people's attention using shock factor, as in this blog about a famous Premier League football club in England. Ask blog. 15. Something Republic. Including the word Republic in your blog name implies that you have a very specific audience who see themselves as distinct from the rest of the world. It's a good way to identify with followers in a particular niche. Here are some examples. Cook Republic, Blogger Republic, The Blonde Republic, Data Republic, Nutrition Republic, Travel Republic, and Front Porch Republic. 16. The word simply plus your keyword. Adding simply to your keyword is another tried and tested blog naming technique. Here are some examples. Simply Recipes, Live Simply, Simply a Blog, Simply Cycling, 17. A modifier word plus your keyword. If you're a baker, what kind of baker? What kind of fashionista, vegan or gardener? Here are some examples. The lazy baker, minimalist baker, pro blogger, smart blogger, lazy girl running. 18. Use your own name. Some people advise against using your name as the name of your blog because you're giving up an opportunity to tell people what your blog is about. And that's a valid point. But here's an advantage of naming your blog after yourself. Blogs evolve. A year down the track, you may decide you want to change your focus slightly, or even the entire topic. 
That's fine if your blog name is simply your name, but not so easy if you chose a very specific and descriptive name. Here are some successful blogs named after their owners. Jeff Bullis, Michael D. Pollock, Robbie Richards, Scott H. Young, James Clear, Michael Hyatt, Matthew Woodward. 19. Add your name to the mix. You can include your name and indicate what the blog is about all in one title, as in these examples. Deliciously Ella, A Little Bit of Lisa, Joanna Muses, Miranda Wrights, Cookie and Kate, Sally's Baking Edition. To sum up, here's a quick recap of the 19 formulas for choosing a winning name for your blog. Use alliteration, use or adapt a popular saying, use a pun, combine two concepts in one word, keyword plus hacks, purely descriptive, use some slang, keyword plus wizard, use humor, keyword plus type of person, drop a vowel, eat, pray, love, or the rule of three, a niche term plus your keyword, using shock or surprise, something republic, the word simply followed by your keyword, a modifier word followed by your keyword, using your own name, and adding your name to the mix. I hope this helps you find a fantastic name for your blog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.